Well, a South Burlington man pleaded not guilty today to accusations he threatened to kill someone this weekend before leading police on not one, but two chases. NBC 5's Lauren Granada joins us live from South Burlington now. And Lauren, investigators say this happened at what was supposed to be a party? Jack, that's right. This all happened here at the former Silver Palace restaurant. You can see behind me the front door is boarded up today. It was smashed yesterday when Faisal Abdirahman allegedly threatened to kill someone inside. Court documents reveal he was attending a baby shower here. He answered to five charges today. I'd rather be in court. Instead, 40-year-old Faisal Abdirahman appearing virtually Monday from the Northwest State Correctional Facility, pleading not guilty to five charges. Police arrested him Sunday just after 4 a.m. In this case, uh, this subject was known to the police and was known to have weapons. According to the affidavit, Abdirahman was attending a baby shower at the former Silver Palace restaurant on Williston Road when he got into a drunken fight with the owner. The suspect was uh, reported to... Um, be threatening the complainant with a firearm as he was smashing his way into the restaurant. Police say when they got there, Abdirahman drove away in a van, leading officers on a chase down I-89 South, reaching speeds of 100 miles per hour. What went on uh, early Sunday morning was, um, you know, fairly risky. Williston police encountered him near Maple Tree Place when he allegedly tried to ram into their cruiser, leading them on another pursuit until they eventually used spike strips to stop the van and arrest him. The court finds that the alleged behavior in this case is absolutely reckless and dangerous to all members of the public. Abdirahman had been under court orders to stay sober after a previous criminal case. Confirm that he doesn't drink any more alcohol. That seems to be behind all the problems, at least in this incident. Now, Abdirman was released on conditions that he is allowed to go to his job, but he's not allowed to drive or drink alcohol. He is expected to appear in court again on November 15th for his hearing on this baby bash gone wrong. Reporting live in South Burlington tonight, Lauren Granada, NBC5 News.